ओके वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड हैज आस्क अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज इज देयर अ वे आउट टू यूज एक्सेल फाइल इन मेल मर्ज दैट विल मर्ज रिकॉर्ड्स विद सेम वैल्यू ऑन पेज एंड आल्सो कैन इट बी पॉसिबल टू गेट द टोटल ऑफ कॉलम वैल्यूज एज शोन इन द फॉलोइंग सिनेरियो लुक एट दिस टेबल दिस टेबल कंटेन टू रिकॉर्ड्स फॉर कस्टमर पिक थ्री रिकॉर्ड्स फॉर कस्टमर टू रिकॉर्ड्स फॉर कस्टमर पिक and the objective is to use microsoft mail merge in order to produce uh, a page for a customer that contains all the related information of that uh, and the second thing is that this column values should be added at the end and we have the total of all these values so that we want to achieve okay let's see uh, file we have the data okay this is the data right uh, in order to produce uh, such an output uh, on this data uh, we need to first uh, reorganize uh, this table uh, by organization i means we need i need to group uh, this table customer and this is very simple uh, select any of the cell of the customer column right click select the sort and sort a to z so we have group this uh, table by customer right so th this is the first group this is the second this is the third and so and so forth right okay there is one thing that we need to do as well we need to add an helper column right by inserting uh, uh, the column let them name is test right and uh, how to populate the values for this uh, column is that we have to use one function which is if and in the logical test uh, that will be from is that we need to check whether these two values are identical or not if these two values are identical we need to put 1 and if these are not then we have to put 0 so 1 and 0 right so copy these values now what is the meaning of 1 and 0 1 means that the group has started 0 means the group has ended so this is the start and the end of the group that is one interpretation we will be using these value of test in order to indicate that uh, if the value is 1 then it should move to the next record and if the values is 0 it should stay here right so that is the logic behind this helper column right so let's apply the mail merge on this data set okay let's open the uh, blank uh, word document okay before opening the word document we need to save this as well so i will be saving this right it is saved now 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 we can open the word document okay this is the blank document right we need to set this up for our uh, required output okay the first thing that we need to do we need to uh, link this word document with the excel file how we can do that click uh, the mail tab right select uh, start mail merge uh, mm, uh, click on select recipient and then use an existing list right and select the desired file this is the file the customer data now select it open it now this is linked with uh, this word document okay the first of all what we do, we need to insert a customer label see customer label right and we need to uh, print the name of the customer right over here and then we need to put Uh, uh insert uh, table right so let it be 3 4 5 columns maybe 6 right here will be the invoice invoice number here is the invoice here is uh, uh, the amount 
right so these are the label so we will have the customer name here we have the invoice number here uh, we count here of the first record and on the second row we will have the second one and the third one and so on and so forth so let merge these uh, uh, records on this so in order to do so click the mail uh, mailing tab again and in the right in insert field uh, select the insert merge field so here we want to insert the name of the customer so it will be insert the customer so this is the merge field customer right then we have uh, to insert the invoice number here so uh, go here and insert invoice then insert uh, amount here right and now here we can do it here as well but for the sake of clarity i am using the third column uh, the third column is not required we can still use it here right okay so what we need to do we need to go to the next record this is the information for the first record we want to insert a second record right over here so first of all we need to check whether the test the value of test is equal to 1 if that is the case then move to the next record so we have to insert one rule so uh, uh, select rule right from the right hand insert field we have uh, these are the rules select next record if next record if the dialog box pop up then we have the field name which is test comparison is equal to one if that is the case it will move to the next record right okay so next if it must test equal to one now move here we have insert invoice we have insert amount and we have to repeat this again so we have next record if test is equal to one then move to the next other will stay there and we have to do it again so we have the customer we have uh, not the customer sorry uh, we have uh, the invoice here invoice merge amount uh, amount and then again the rule the rule is if it is test is equal to one the value of test is equal to one then move to the next record okay we have successfully inserted uh, mm, uh, the merge fields now let's uh, mm, review it right review result okay uh, but before review, uh, reviewing result we need to uh, use combination of alt f9 in order that is the toggle between chords on and off so alt f9 alt f9 we have uh, the name of the fields right uh, which is taken from the excel file and if i press alt f9 this is the codes right associated codes now alt f9 now preview results so this is record number one so we have six seventy uh, six seven five four two three four five so we have got two uh, records of the customer pick because this is the first occurrences right but look at here we have two three four five six forty two this is the duplication and check the second one second one is the same as well so we have the third one so there is a problem somewhere right so we need to fix this so in order to fix this problem we need to add a bit of merge code as well let's see what is the code now again press alt f9 so alt f9 actually it will go back to the course so what we need to do uh, we need to check whether the first uh, value of invoice of first record is equal to the value of uh, voice of the second record if that is the case right we need to do something so in order to validate or check this condition the value of n voice of first record uh, um, to the value of invoice of the second record we need to store the value of the first record 
of in y the value of in y sub second bracket in order to do so we have to use another um, uh, code and we need to insert code by pressing control f9 so remember control f9 is the keyboard shortcut for inserting codes so now i can manually type the code here so the code is the set set right set what i want to set i want to set the bookmark maybe it is id1 id1 is the name of the bookmark and i am setting the value of the mark id1 with the value of the first record of this record which is uh, merge field invoice so i will insert invoice here so what it does it will use the value of invoice of the first record and assign to id1 so this is before moving to the next record so we do the same here as well so what we need to do again we need to press control f9 then uh, we need to use type set then the next bookmark which is id2 again we need to insert insert invoice so we have set id2 merge invoice right so this is uh, invoice value before the next record uh, or may, uh, or the previous record and this is for the next record in case the value of test is equal to 1 now delete this for the time being now we can check the value of st id1 and id2 so in order to check we have uh, uh id1 here id1 and then again id2 control id2 right so let alt f9 right and uh preview now look at here 674674 so these two values are different uh, let me okay six seven five four is the value of the first uh, uh, record and two three four five is the value of second record so it means these two values are different right okay so nine back or f9 preview okay okay so now we know that these two values are different so now use an if right f9 if merge code and we are saying that if these two values are equal if these two values are equal right so if id1 is equal to id2 do nothing right. okay so here we are do nothing and if these two are different right then we need to insert insert the merge field so this is the invoice so this is the same here control c control v copy this and instead of invoice we should use amount so we have amount right and copy this code here as well here and copy this right here for the third record if there is any so this copy as well and copy this as well control c and control v 
now one thing is remaining and that is the total of uh, this uh, um, column so in order to do so what we need to do we can insert a table function right so this is the table right uh, so in the table uh, table tools tabs we have the layout first of all we need to select the cell where we want to put the uh, function so here is uh, this is the cell we want to put the function right so we have selected this uh, layout and then here is the formula so formula is what the sum so i'm using sum this is the sum function and what i am doing what will be the values for this uh, sum function and it has to be above a B O V E. So whatever value that is present above this function should be added, right? So we can set uh, the formatting as well. So I'm not doing it right now. So click OK. So we have is equal to sum above. Everything is set now. The one thing is remaining that is total. So this is total, right? Everything is done or definitely right so we have the invoice number amount next record etc etc so now the last thing is the finished mail and merge finish edit and all so it's generating so the customer is big invoice is this now look at here we have these two values of amount this is the total now the for the second one we have the jack we have two records for jack and uh, these are the amount and this is the total this is for the third record which is nick and this is uh, the amount this is the total we have uh, the customer rick and we have uh, three values and so on and so forth so we have five records uh, in the excel file and we have used mail merge function to produce uh, five merge pages for one each for a record i hope uh, you get the concept is clear uh, I, and i hope uh, you find it useful